I can't prescribe something that can be harmful for an unvalidated reason. What is an alarming hematocrit level uh, is under 52% safe, 100%, and how to reduce red blood cells? Don't need to. There's no evidence you should. Um, if your red blood cells are out of whack for a pathologic reason, you have to find the pathologic cause of why they're out of whack. And a lot of guys, that's going to be poor nutrition, sleep apnea, smoking, um, other factors that could probably go into it. Testosterone alone, injectable especially, can cause elevated hematocrit. We see it. Um, I generally don't see it go, I'd say the high, highest was probably where I was at. I was 57, 58% hematocrit during injections and stayed around 52% on cream. Um, when I get concerned, it's not because of the testosterone per se, but if I see a guy's hemoglobin at 20 or 21 and their hematocrit at 60 or above, I'm like, you need to figure out what's going on with your health. Like you need to look into some things and usually you tease it out and they do snore. They've never had a sleep study. I'm like, you got to get it. And a lot of them won't. They're like, no, you know, I'll do it. And they never do. Sleep apnea is a huge issue. But again, a lot of this from being overweight, a lot of people don't, they're not willing to admit that they're at an unhealthy body fat. And I'm not saying that's this guy's problem at all. Um, or everybody with elevated hematocrit. I'm just saying though, a lot of people though, don't realize with sleep apnea that a lot of it is from body weight, uh, neck size, things like that. Even muscular, it's not just fat. It's just size in general. Like I've had to come to grips with the fact that I feel healthier and move better and sleep better at 180 pounds instead of 220 and 18% body fat pretending like I'm big when now I'm 180, 175 at probably 10%, but I feel better, you know, and I have to get over this desire to just be this mass monster because I'm never meant to be that way. And the guys that are who push the drugs to get that way, or if they're just naturally those bigger guys, they need to look out for sleep apnea because it just can happen. And a lot of it's a, a, a not central. A lot of it's with the obstructive, with the tongue. They can fix that lickety split with a customized mouth guard that, that keeps the tongue. And then you don't have to worry about the CPAP and all the crap that comes with that. So, mm -hmm. um, but as far as, yeah, the, the alarming hematocrits, no, first of all, 54, I don't even blink twice at that on somebody on TRT at all. Again, the, the top of the normal range used to go up to 55% was normal. Uh, when I got into practice, when I left residency and then it changed a few years later. So it's like people are just becoming chronically anemic. So that's the new normal, right? Yeah. So that's the other thing I want to tell people is statistics can't give you an, a, a, a prescription. Like you can't get an ought from an is, I cannot look at a statistical norm and say, well, I ought to be the, inside that. Why? How do you know that? That's just a description. What if everybody in that, in that distribution, they're all diseased, right? Like we don't know. And whoever gets to define health, a healthy person in these samples, that's subjective. Mm -hmm. So um, you got to take a lot of that stuff with a grain of salt. That being said, if these parameters are very much out of whack, sometimes go look for a root cause. If you can't find it and people feel fine otherwise, and they're okay with that, because, I, you know, then that's all that matters. I, if they want to donate, I'm like, listen, more power to you. If you want to go do that on your own, I'm not writing a prescription for it because I don't have any evidence that it's necessary or good for you. Um, if it makes them feel better from an anxiety standpoint, because the anxiety is driving them crazy, that's going to affect their health negatively, then go do it. You know, I get it. I just don't want to be part of that because again, I can't prescribe something that can be harmful for an unvalidated reason, because we're not fixing anything by just drawing off blood every now and then when the blood may not be causing the issue at all.